So my name is Andrew Petruska, I'm is at the University of Utah, and uh, my research is in magnetic manipulation. Uh, magnetic manipulation is interesting because it allows you to control an object inside of a person without having to have a physical connection to the outside. Um, that means that you could have like a little capsule pill in the stomach and you could move it around, you could look around in different directions and you wouldn't have to have an endoscope going through your, your throat to do so. Um, the work that I'm presenting here is looking at extending the electrical magnet uh, manipulation systems to a more versatile kind. So current systems uh, use normal cylindrical magnets and they are prearranged and they're fixed in space. And they do a great job of creating fields and moving things. Um, our system is a bit different. Instead of having individual magnets, we've taken uh, three coils and we've located them in one position pointed in different directions around a spherical core. And what that allows us to do is create a field that looks all like a dipole field. You might remember from your, your kids playing with magnets and the iron filings. Um, and so we can create that field in any direction. And then what it turns out is, and what this work is about, is we can take multiple of these, we call them omnimagnet modules, and combine them to do really cool things. We can levitate an object, we can twist it around in any direction without touching it. And the unique thing is now we can actually move these modules while we're doing the manipulation. What this means is that from the point of view of a physician, is that if they want to control an object inside the person's body, they can actually set them up just before the procedure however they want. It doesn't have to be a pre-configured situation. So if the person's a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, or they want to operate a little bit higher, a little bit lower, they can set them up however they want. And then during the procedure, if they are like using a fluoroscope to take x-ray images or something else and, and the magnet starts to become in the way somehow or they need access to this part of the body, they actually can go in and move the magnet while they're doing the procedure without having to like recalibrate the system or everything, maintaining control of the tool. Um, that really gives a lot of versatility to the electromagnetic manipulation system and is, is you know, really the main focus of this work.